The New York Rangers had the 23rd pick in the 2023 NHL draft, and they go with right wing Gabriel Pajot, a Perot, excuse me, from the U.S. national team. Gil Martin here alongside Hadi Kalakesh, our prospects expert. And uh, Hadi, do you like this pick for the New York Rangers in the 23rd spot? It's decent. Um, another, you know, he's a very specialized player in terms of his skill set. Very, very great hands, amazing vision and playmaking, some of the best playmaking elements in this draft. It's just outside of that, you're not getting much. He's not the fastest player, uh, pretty poor skating stride, not the most intense or defensively responsible, not the best shot. Um, but what he does, he does extremely, extremely well. There's a reason why he was a, he's the top scorer in the NTDP's history. That includes guys like Austin Matthews, Clayton Keller, Phil Kessel, you know, guys of that kind of caliber. Uh, he, he, he's, he's outscored them all in his uh, NTDP campaign. So, you know, in terms of quality of playmaking, you know what you're getting. But, you know, he, he's missing a lot of the elements that teams seek in players. So it takes a lot of playmaking elements and a lot of skill in order to compensate for a lack of size, lack of skating, lack of physicality. Um, so again, just a very, very specialized player who, you know, you can work up the effort level, you can work up the, the skating. And if you do, you're getting a fantastic value playmaker here at 20, uh, at 23. Uh, it sounds to me like you're describing a player who could be very dangerous on the power play. Absolutely. That's his bread and butter. Um, I liken him to a uh, Clayton Keller with poor skating essentially. Um, and it's just about how much you value that. I mean, Clayton Keller is a great player, but it's, a lot of his game goes through his skating. So if you're able to get Gabe Perot to an average or slightly above average skating stride, it's just fantastic value. He would be able to get a, a lot more done off transitions. Now, he's already able to do a lot with his playmaking elements, you know, connecting with players in the neutral zone and, and getting them the puck so they can carry it up and control. Uh, but being able to skate that puck inside the offensive zone itself is is kind of the next gear that I'm looking for from Perot. And the right development team could get his head, get their hands on them and, and do great work with him. And do the Rangers have that? I don't really know. Um, but if they're able to add the right staff in order to work on his skating even further, getting him, get him a skating specialist that'll bring out his his natural ability to blend his vision into his playmaking and add an extra gear skating to that. We're talking about a very, very dangerous player, like you mentioned, especially on the power play. And, you know, it sounds like he'll need a little bit of time to develop some of these other skills, especially the skating. How far away from being NHL ready do you think he is? I think he'll need a full ride through the NCAA. Uh, just let him, let him ride it out the whole time and slowly but surely add more elements to his game, maybe work on a shot, make it a little better, um, you know, stuff like that. Because the upside with Perot is high end, but you do need a lot of patience with players like these. Uh, so I, I think, you know, definitely getting him all the way through to his senior year, you know, getting him working the NCAA constantly would be a very good thing for his development. And as far as the Rangers' needs, how does he fit in there? He's a decent kind of fill for for the gaps that they have in uh, the uh, in the prospect pool. Um, you know, a, a winger who can who can connect plays as well as he does. I don't think they have one um, in in their prospect pool. So he's decent in terms of what they're looking for. Uh, and again, they'll need to work on him. And and you know, if their if their plan with him is to just throw him in the NCAA and have lunch with him once a month it's not going to help a lot. He really needs a hands-on approach in order to bring out the best out of him. All right. Well, for more on this selection and all the New York Rangers, other moves around the draft and free agency, tune into Locked On New York Rangers for free on your favorite podcast app and on YouTube, part of the Locked On Podcast Network, your team every day.